Hello, everybody. Welcome to Dr. Samuel Mapp. I am Dr. Samuel. And today we move on to the section basic algebra. Now, what is basic algebra? In fact, what is algebra? In that topic, we use symbols to represent figures or numbers or certain values. The most common symbol used is X, but you can use any symbol to represent a value. Why is this important? We're going to see. It allows certain problems to be solved in a much easier manner than if you had to use arithmetic to solve this problem. So it's a very important part of maths, which you should all try to understand. So today we're introducing the topic. In order to understand algebra, you need to understand the basic concept of algebraic expressions. And so in this video, I'll be focusing on that. What is an algebraic expression? How do you write an algebraic expression? How do you interpret an algebraic expression? So what is an algebraic expression? It is basically a mathematical operation where you have one or more symbols, algebraic symbols, for example, X or Y or A, as long as you have a symbol in a mathematical operation, then it's an algebraic expression. So the examples would explain it better. X plus three. What does X plus 3 mean? X is the symbol. It's unknown. It represents an unknown value. You don't know what it is. But you are adding 3 to X. And that's exactly what it means. You are adding 3 to a certain number represented by X. The second one, 2x. 2x means 2 multiplied by x. We normally don't show the multiplication symbol because it looks too much like x. So 2x means 2 multiplied by x. So for example, if x was 3, 2x means 2 times 3. And if you work it out, you would get 6. The third one, 5a minus 1. Now, for these expressions with more than one operation, we have to also remember the Bordmas rule. That's very important. So, 5a minus 1 means you are multiplying a times 5 first, and then you are taking away 1. 5a minus 1. 5 times a minus 1. And remember, whatever symbol you have, it represents a value that is unknown unless you are told what it is. It can be any value. More examples. In this first one, you have 3 minus 2x. Again, remember, from the Bodmas rule, we multiply before we subtract. So in this example, x is multiplied by 2, and the answer is subtracted from 3. You can also say it this way. 3 subtract the product of x and 2. The product of x and 2 means you're multiplying 2 times x. The next one, here we have 2x over 5 plus 1. It means we are dividing 
x by 5 first and then add in 1. We divide before we add. Look at this one. Now the oval should be continuing all the way. This is 2x plus 1 all over 5. Now compare that to the one before where you have 2x over 5 and then you add 1. Here is 2x plus 1 and you divide that answer by 5. So you multiply x by 2, then you add 1 and you divide that answer by 5. Or you can see it as the product of 2 and x plus 1 and divide that answer by 5. So be very careful how you interpret algebraic expressions. More examples again. In this first one, we have brackets. Now brackets are very important in algebra and you have to understand what they mean. They normally group an operation that you want to keep together or operations you want to keep together. So here I have two times and in brackets 3x minus 1. So remember, brackets must always be done first according to the Bodmus rule. So I am first multiplying x by 3 and then taking away 1 and the answer I multiply by 2. In other words, you subtract the product of 3 and x. You take away 1 or 1 is subtracted from the product of 3 and x. And the answer is multiplied by 2. Next one. I didn't put the answer yet, so let's write it down now. What is 2x squared? That 2 means x is squared minus 1 mean. It means that you would first square x Then you multiply by 2, multiply the answer by 2, then subtract 1. That's it. Okay. You remember you square first in the bottom of before you multiply. The squared is only by the x. So you square x, then multiply by 2 and take away 1. You could say it another way. You subtract 1 from the product of 2 and the square of x. So you have, you have different ways of stating the understanding of any algebraic expression. Now compare the next one to what we just did. Here I have a bracket, and you know you must work out the bracket first. So in the bracket, I am first squaring x. So I have the square of x. Then you subtract 1 from the answer. And then multiply the answer by 2. That's it. So bracket first, get the answer. 
and then multiply by two. Next one, I have three x squared plus two all over four. It means we work out the top and then divide by four. So we first square x again. Then multiply by three. Then add two to the answer. And then divide the answer by four. In the next three examples, let's see if we can write expressions given the descriptions here. So the first one, subtract x squared from seven and divide the answer by three. So the first thing we are doing is subtracting x squared from seven. So that is seven minus x squared. And we divide the answer by 3. So it is all over 3. That's number 1. Number 2, divide 3x squared by 4 and add the product of x and 5. So we are dividing 3x squared by 4. And we are adding the product of 5 and x. That's it. Number 3, to the product of 3 and the square of x. So that is 3x squared. The product of 3 and the square of x. Add the product of 2 and x, that's 2x. So you add 2x and then subtract 5. Subtract 5. That's it. Algebraic expressions. So make sure when you have an algebraic expression, you understand exactly what it is saying. And if you are given the description, you write a proper expression. We'll move on next time to the next part of algebra, which is substituting values for unknowns. If you like this video, please subscribe to my channel by hitting the button below. You can also like the video and share it. See you next time.